Um, hey guys, I'm making another video. Um, if you see like a little light on on the left hand corner, um, that's because it's my lamp right here. Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah, it's there. Um, I think the next big thing, big thing in tech, is going to be smartwatches. I mean, I mean, look, watches um are almost completely dead. I don't know. I just feel like no one, not many people are going to have really used, not many people I know really use watches. Unless just for a fashion statement or something, because like, some people just wear like, for like, G-Shocks, because they're like, ooh, cool, I like, everybody likes G-Shocks or something like that. Yeah, um, it's good, like, because um, also, like, remember those calculator watches? Here's a little comparison to make. Back in the day, the first tablets, they weren't popular. They weren't really that that usable. They weren't really, but they weren't really um to have any um advantages or anything. Like they didn't they weren't that, that special. But when Apple or when like Apple made the iPad, that uh, tablets got better. And I predict that um someone is gonna create um smartwatch that that uh reinvigorates the um. The old, like, like the, uh, it's kind of like the databank. You know, have you heard of, like, the Casio databanks? I think, yeah, that's what they're called. Yeah, Casio databanks, yeah. They had apps and stuff on their, on the, um, phone. On the, on the watch, I mean. It had, like, a little small screen. It had, like, a keypad. Yeah, it's gonna be. I think maybe like Casio might make some too. Yeah, I mean Casio. The data bank was like the precursor to. I think it's the true precursor to the smartwatch because that thing, those things that are pretty good for a smartwatch, uh, for a um a watch. Yeah. So I think yeah, smartwatches are the next big thing.